20 winner Anna's Antonsen in the Battle of the World Championship silver medalists against Shi Yu Chi. But as you can see, Anna's Antonsen has given a walkover to Shi Yu Chi, who progresses through to the second round. So we're going straight on to a second mixed doubles in two matches played, and it is the Danish combination of Mikkel Mikkelsen and uh, Rika Subu up against the pair from Chinese Taipei, Yang Po Xuan and Hu Ling Feng. Now this has all matches today, apart from our next match, our men's singles, is from the bottom half of the draw. And this is from the third quarter of the mixed doubles. And you can see in this section, we have the 2018 winners, Shen Shi Wei and Wang Yaxiong. Also in this section, Jikil and Del Ru. Uh, but our match, all unseeded affair with the Danes against the pair from Chinese Taipei. So the Danes emerge first, Mikkel Mikkelsen and Rika Subal. Well, this pair from Chinese Taipei held a match point against the world champions Sheng Shiwei and Wang Yaxiong in the semi-final of the Malaysian Masters earlier this year. So do not underestimate this combination of Yang Po Xuan and Hu Ling Feng. Making their second appearance here as a pair at the Denmark Open. Last year they lost in the first round to Tang Chunman and Si Ying Suet, who went on to reach the, the quarter-final. Unfortunately, that pair from Hong Kong, China, have had to withdraw this year. They were the number five seeds, but have withdrawn. For the Danes, well, it's the third consecutive appearance at their home event as a combination. And this will be a first meeting between these right, two yes. pairs. And they've chosen to receive. So the Danes will have both the serve and the choice of ends. very impressed with the pair from Chinese Taipei in their Malaysian Masters Super 500 event semi-final. Not many pairs get to have match point opportunities against Cheng Shi Wei and Wang Yaxia, world champions. But this is Mikkel Mikkelsen. He is 30 years of age from the Danish capital Copenhagen. Just under six foot three, he's a tall athlete. And when he was a junior player, he had a very serious knee injury in the 2010 National Championships. He was actually out for a whole year and it prevented him playing in the 2010 World Junior Championships, which of course Victor Axelsen went on to win. Playing off a career high, these two of 28 in the world, the second consecutive week at their career high ranking. Uh, Rika Subu is 27 years of age from Gloucester in the suburbs of Copenhagen. 178, that's 5 foot 10. And uh, they were bronze medalists at the European Championships earlier this year. Young Paul Shuan, he's 26, uh, born in uh, Tainan one of the oldest cities on the island. 186 is just over six foot one. And they actually went down a couple of places on the world ranking. Ready to play. Yesterday, 
went down to 36, but they have also been 28 in the world, which is what their opponents are at the moment. Hu Lingfang is 24, born in Kaohsiung, and one 71 is five foot seven and a half. Never won a title as a pair, as we look at our umpire for this one, Harriet Simugabe of Uganda, and our service judge from Poland. Yeah, just a little bit of confusion with the umpire there. I think she was just as shocked as most people were. Although it seems quite trendy nowadays to say that you'll receive if you win the toss. I don't understand that at all. Every stadium has a slight drift. Why not choose ends? My right, Mikael Sobi and Mikael Mikkelson, Denmark. On my left, Yang Ko Xuan and Yu Ling Fang, Chinese Taipei. Rike Sobi to serve to Yu Ling Fang. Lavo, play. So, Arika Subu getting this match over. underway. One love. Two finals last year for the Danes. Won the Dutch International Challenger event, which is traditionally the week before this Denmark Open, as indeed it was this year. And then lost in the final of the Irish International Challenger event as well. to be a hard downward shot from Subo. moment. at the moment. But that's uh, quite often the case with this man, young Paul Shuan. He's got a thunderous smash, as we saw in that last rally. Yeah, well taken by Sobu.
Oh, he was there. He just completely mistimed it, Mickelson. Oh, that finds the line. That's a lovely shot from Mickelson. Oh, my oh, goodness me, had that have gone over, that would have been quite brilliant. It was a lovely idea, but it was an ambitious shot to try. Oh, that's a beauty. What a shot. Aware of where the gap was, his back was to the net, so he couldn't possibly have been watching. He just instinctively knew there was a gap there. Service fault called. Too high. Service fault called on Mikkel Mickelson. Too Nine, high. Eight. All of the shuttle, not below 1.15 metres. Ah. Too flat, way long of the back line. Ten, eight. So it's a three point advantage for Young Paul Schwan and Hu Ling Fang at mid game interval. Der er de for gode. Ja. Lige snart vi får spillet på mellembanen, lige snart vi får trykket ud mod hjørnerne, hvor de er bevægelsen, så trykker vi fremad, så skal vi op og lagt den af, eller lige skubber den forbi og så op igen. Ikke? Ja. Det med bare battle lige linjer, der, der er de for gode, ligesom den sidste her. Ikke? Altså, der, der står en op i hovedet på os her. Ja. Hver gang vi trykker her, træd fremad, fordi de spiller den ikke hen over. De har også mærket, at du klapper godt, rigtig godt til den. Ikke? Så lige have en, en variation, hvis du lige slår det ind i drop. Ja, men men altså, så er det rigtig, rigtig fint. Ikke? Det er lidt skarpere, når vi selv saver. Bare blive ved med at komme op her. Ikke? from Chinese Taipei doing all the attacking and the Danes are doing all the defending certainly in that last rally <coughs> this is a run of four straight points now Good return of the flick serve. What a perfect smash from Mickelson. Ah! 
Service over. 13, 9. Have had a couple of very good results in their short partnership, which only started at this event two years ago. With Champion Soon and Goli Ying in the first round in Saarbrücken last year, and earlier this year, beat the European champions in the first round of the German Open, Lamswas and Lohau. So they should not be underestimated. Actually backed off the wrong side. Hu Ling Fang really should have backed off to defend on the cross court shot rather than the straight. You see here she should have, in fact they both went to the their backhand sides to defend. She should have really been on the other side of the court defensively. Nicholson. Yeah, it was the right idea, wrong execution from Sobu. Fifteen thirteen. Lee. from everybody on court. Completely fresh aired it. Liu Ying Feng. So back level, 15 all in this opening game. This is remarkable. Seven of the last eight points. They were 10 14 down. Good serve. 
Oh, it's landed in. Turned into a perfect block from Sobu. Quite extraordinary. Eight of the last nine points now. Perfection. It's a little wild. 16, 18. Hey. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Two points away from the opening game. Oh, yes. Well, it was the cross-court defensive shot from Yang Po Shuan that really did the damage. This one. Tense again. Nice defence again. Oh, that's brilliant! And I think we can safely say Nicole Mickelson is pretty pleased with that. It's two game point opportunities for the Danes. Total misjudgment 19, from Mickelson. 20. One game point has been well saved. The other one remains for the Danes. And they've done it. Convert on their second game point opportunity. 21-19. 17 minutes. And that extraordinary run from 10-14 down. <laughs> 
，懂吗？这个在跑动中可以打。可是当你你你现在在往前，或者是你在跑动的时候，你要注意一点是，当博轩在进攻，或者是他可能被动，他已经去掉对方了，对不对？他掉对方的，呃不，他进攻对方的，他可能偏出来，他杀了一个对角，那你要拉出来，你要准备攻，你要去抢到点去攻嘛。对，如果说他今天他是切球打红球拉起来，那你就要注意跑动。Og jeg kan se bare, at vi skal blive ved med at spille i svære, blive ved med at dreje den, blive ved med at spille foran hende. Hver gang den kommer forbi hende med for meget fart, så står han sådan her. Ja, lige præcis. Altså, hvis vi trykker ned til ham, så skal det være, fordi vi stiller os helt op i netkanten og bider i den. Ja. Ellers så skal vi blive ved med at dreje spille foran hende. Du styrer hende op fuldstændig. Hun får så meget lort på skeen, hvis vi spiller foran hende. Og specielt, hvis hun ligger lidt ude for kroppen her, ikke? Ja. Vi ved med at spille den svære, vi ved med at spille den frække her, ikke? Uden det går for langsomt, det er der hurtigt på den, ikke? Ja. Og så selvom de begynder at få en, to her, der kan de ikke rive den væk. Nej, det det. Så når Mikkel har angreb her, der er det bare fremad her. Ja. Fordi hvis de klapper til den sådan her, så pisser den ud. Ja. Ja. Stille og roligt her. <coughs> Gang i benene, vi ved at dreje den forbind. Gerne spille ja. foran hende, som du gør nu. Ikke? For alt det betyder, det er bare en udfordring. Lige for det ja. Ja, og, og, det der, ja, og det der var rigtig no. godt, det er den sidste her, som siger, at man lige går gennem hende. Det prægte den gennem hende, i stedet for at hun bare okay, den kommer Oh, the second game gets underway, and Thomas Stungall saying to his players that try and isolate Huling Fang. Get the shuttle in front of her, force her back. Well, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what's the problem? Strap of the racket bag outside the kit box. Yeah, that's good placement of the smash from Yang Po Shuan. Oh, I thought she might have touched that. Yeah, it wasn't called. And the shuffle went long, so... If she did touch it, justice was served. Oh! Serves over. Three, two. Tried to play that winning smash when he was off balance. That's why he made the error. Well, mixed doubles is the most successful discipline since the inception of the Super Series and now World Tour, as far as home players are concerned. Five mixed doubles titles to Danish players over that period. Four of them, incidentally, going to Fischer Nielsen and Christina Pedersen. They won in 2008, 9, 11 and 16. 2010 was won by the world champions at the time, Leibourne and Ruta Yule. In fact, they probably had lost their world title by then. They were the 2009 world champions, Leibourne and Yule.
August the World Championships each year. Or oh, usually in August, when we're not struck down with a global pandemic. Rally. Oh, my goodness, good defence. Oh, that's brilliant. What a final interception from Huling Fung. Marvellous rally. Probably the best rally of the match. Good intensity all the way through. Certainly the longest rally of the match. Look at that lovely block. Final interception, perfectly timed by Hu Ling Feng. Brilliant, brilliant awareness once again by Mickelson. Been allowed a quick timeout. Quite surprising. Match in progress for four minutes shy of half an hour. Seven. Oh. Oh, yes. Uh, he's really fired up and really looking for the opportunities to attack Mikkel Mikkelsen. We haven't got past the second round of any World Tour event so far this year, this Danish combination. And they've played seven World Tour events, five first-round losses, two second-round losses. Oh, service for called. Second time called on Mickelson. Now, yeah, interesting, no reaction at all. Well, he didn't really lift the left arm.
it's over. Nine, ten. Pushed it way long. And it's a two-point advantage to the Danes, having already won the first here at the mid-game interval of the second game. Well, most of the talk from the coach seemed to be directed towards Hu Ling Fang. Ja, den skulle på siden, men det, det er vigtigt, når vi specielt, når du også ser, du, du skal ikke gå på autopilot, ikke? Hvis du ser til hende, giv den ind i tiden, der spiller hun enten kort, eller spiller ud gennem baghånden, og ellers så tager svippen med herover fra. Du ser jo lige ind i hendes forhånd to gange i træk, og det er også mig, jeg skal nå at give dig den her. Du skal tænke om, vi skal ikke gå på autopilot, hvor vi bare stiller os op og sager. Well, the coach from Chinese Taipei asking his player to try and intercept more at the front of the court. Easier said than done. Not that you shouldn't strive to do difficult things. Eight of the last ten points to the Danes. She was quick back to that. Young Paul Schwan. Yeah, she was more uh, active, proactive at the front of the court in that rally, doing exactly as the coach suggested. Service judge seems to be faulting every single flick 14, serve. 11. Ah, uh, well taken. Yeah, she is being more proactive at the front of the court, isn't she? Doubles is a discipline here at the Denmark Open where we've had a huge variety of winners. Nine different pairs have won the mixed doubles title over the last nine editions. Oh, that's a clever shot. I can understand he didn't want to flick again. He's been called twice on his flick serve. Wanted to hit a different serve, so serving out wide. That was a nice idea. And it was well 
dealt with by Yang Po Xuan. ready to pounce on the net and I think his presence there forced Hu Ling Fang into error. Yeah, she looked very tentative on that backhand net shot, didn't she? rally for the Chinese Taipei pair to win. No, they haven't. That's gone wide. That's a lovely shot. Nice disguised and well placed drop from Huling Fung. So, match point opportunities. Four of them, to be precise, for Mickelson and Sobu. Seventeen, twenty. Well, the nerves are jangling. Service error. Error on that shot too from Sobu. Now an error from Mickelson and all of a sudden there's just one point in it. Three match points have come and gone. Just another one remains for the Danes. This is all rather reminiscent of the previous match when the Danes had four game point opportunities in the opening game and couldn't convert. Now, a different Danish combination have seen four match points come and go. 20 all, extra points required until there's a clear two point winning margin. That's gone long, so of the back line. And it's a fifth match point opportunity. For Mickelson and Sobu. Oh, now I saw that as in. 
Mickelson was already celebrating. I thought that caught the line. Well, they've challenged and therefore we'll wait for the instant review. But I thought that was good. Here we go. No, it was just wide. Good challenge. And it means that the Danes, Mikkel Mikkelsen, Erika Sobel, are through to the second round here of their home event, winning on their fifth match point opportunity. 21-19, 22-20 in the second game. My goodness me. Oh, good sight from Mickelson. Match won by Mickelson. Mickelson, Mikkel, Ricky Sobi, 21-19. This is the final rally. The serve out wide. Oh, gosh, that was close, wasn't it? Uh, the challenge confirming that the shovel had indeed landed out. So confirmation of the scoreline 21-19, 22-20 in 39 minutes. Mickelson and Sobel through to the second round. home success in our last uh, match there, the mixed doubles with Nicholson and Sobel. And now our last match of the day. And this is a bonus match because we didn't get to see the 2020 winner, Anna Zantinson, who gave a walkover to Shi Chi. And our bonus match features the defending champion in the men's singles, Victor Axelson. He also happens to be the reigning world